Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move, copy, and delete text. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a Word document here, and I'm currently showing my paragraph markers. Those show me things like my spaces, my end of my paragraphs, and also where bullets and tabs occur. If you want to see paragraph markers on your document, go to the Home tab, Paragraph Group, and go right here to Show Hide Paragraph Markers. Now I'm going to show you how to delete something on your Word document. To delete a word, like the word natural right here, I'm going to want to highlight the word natural and also the space after the word natural. Then you can press Delete or Backspace to uh, on your keyboard and it will delete the word. Okay. Now you could also use the arrow keys to navigate through your Word document, and I'm going to do that now. You'll see that I have a blinking cursor right before the word part. If I press the down arrow, it's going to move to the next line. And I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see that. And then I could use the left arrow to move left and the right arrow to move right. I'm going to go all the way to the left of the word and, and then I'm going to hold down the shift button and hold the right arrow or press the right arrow to move all the way through the word motivate and the space following the word motivate. From here, I'm going to delete this and I'll press delete again or backspace. I press that and it will just say engage them. Now I could go down here to where it says the word forge and rather than highlighting like I showed you in the first step, you could also select words by double clicking. When you double click, it's really nice because it selects the word as well as the space after the word. Anytime a word is selected, you'll see that it's highlighted on a Word document, and if you immediately start to type, let's say instead of the word forge, I want the word build, if I type in build, it will replace it. And so again, you don't actually need to press delete or backspace to replace a word. Instead, you just start typing the new word. All right. Also, it typed in a space for me automatically. Next up, we're going to go down here to where it says questions for team leaders. Anytime you want to select an entire line in Word, if you moved your cursor to the left of it, it will eventually make a right facing white arrow cursor and then you can click and it will select the line. So again the cursor has to be pointing to the right and it will select it. Now what we're going to do is copy this to the clipboard. And so to copy anything in Word, you could either right click on the section and go to copy or you can do a control C on your keyboard, so hold the control button and press C, or you can go to the home tab, clipboard group, and go to copy. Any of those work, and they go to what's called the clipboard. The clipboard is uh, where you can add content to, and what it'll do is, it is, is to save it for later, so that when you paste it, it will show up somewhere else on your Word document. So now we're going to scroll down to the bottom of page one here, and you'll see on page one down here, uh, we're going to click to the left of the first bullet point after the word uh, questions for docu uh, department reps. Okay, so right here, we're going to click to the left of what, which is right there. And you'll see my blinking cursor will appear. And then I'm going to go up here to the home tab, clipboard group, and I'm going to click this paste arrow. The paste arrow will show me all of my paste options. And so right here, I can see what it will look like if I merge it with the list. Notice that it keeps the blue color formatting. Over here is Don't Merge List. This will keep the exact formatting as it was before. And then right here is Keep Text Only, which won't apply any of the formatting. It'll just uh, type the text in whatever style it's being pasted into. All right, from here, I pointed to each one, and I'm going to choose this first one right here, Merge List. I'm going to do the Merge List, and you'll see that it will pop in right here, and that's called Pasting. And you can do a control V to do that. Control V is in Victor. A lot of people think paste is control P, but that's actually for print. So it's control V as in Victor. All right, so now that we've merged the list, let's go down to page two. And you'll see on page two down here, uh, there's a set up team section. Okay, within this area, we're going to select the entire paragraph that begins with explain the position's responsibility. So to select an entire paragraph, what a lot of people do is they click from the beginning and highlight all the way through the end. That's one way to do it, but the easier way to do it is to triple click. Remember, double clicking selects a word, triple clicking will actually select the entire paragraph. Now that we have the entire paragraph selected, I'm going to cut the paragraph. And what cut does is cut's going to move the paragraph to a new section on the page, depending on where I paste it. This is different from copy because again, we copied this text right up here that says questions for team leaders and it, we pasted it down here. Notice in copy, the original stays there and the 
uh, paste goes wherever you put it. In cut, if we were to cut this, it would disappear. So cut is uh, essentially moving it. And so down here, I'm going to do Control X, which is cut. X is in X-ray. Or you go to the Home tab, Clipboard Group, and click Cut. Or you can right-click and go to Cut. Notice as soon as you cut, it's going to disappear. That's because it's not gone forever, but rather it's on the clipboard up here. All right, so if I were to paste this somewhere else, let's say I went right up here and just did a Control V, it's going to paste that whole paragraph. Okay, so that's what that does. Now. Um, you'll notice how I pasted it in and I wanted to undo it. To undo anything in Word, all you have to do is do a control Z, as in zebra, and it'll undo your last move. You can also go up here to the very top and you'll see this button right here, which is undo. Or you can even click this little undo arrow and actually undo a lot of your last moves. So you'll see that I did a clear, I did a uh, clear right there, I typed B for build. I type the rest of build, and then we see right here it says page, uh, paste merge list. I could actually go undo the last two actions, three, four, five, and so on. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go to paste merge list, and I'm actually going to undo the merge list. Okay, and you'll see right here I undid that, and it's actually going to take me back to up here when we uh, pasted the questions for the team leaders and that was a merge list right here we basically undid that move so the further you go down on this list the further back you go keep in mind that you can't delete or you can't undo something if you close out of word and then bring it back it's only from the time that you actually started your session all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and right here there's the area that says pre-planned project. In this area we're going to select the if some employee input paragraph and that's right here and again triple click to select a paragraph and now I'm going to show you how to move text. Basically whenever we have a bullet like this I can triple click it to select the paragraph and then I can click and drag from inside the paragraph up to a previous paragraph and watch what happens. I'm going to go right before the if at this paragraph and release my mouse and you'll now notice that it moved it up into its spot and the if no employee input paragraph is now listed below okay so now what we can do is I could show you right here since this paragraph marker is on I told you before backspace deletes what's before like that okay I'll do a control Z control Z delete will delete what's on the right and so if I press delete you'll see what happens here it's gonna delete the paragraph marker and now you'll see if no employee input has been moved up to the same bullet. And I could add a space to space out those two sentences. Again, once I'm done with formatting a document, I usually turn my paragraph markers off so that I can read it a little bit easier. Again, I only turn these on when I'm really doing some heavy formatting on my Word documents. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about how to select, move, and delete text within your Word documents, as well as a few shortcuts on uh, selecting entire lines or paragraphs, as well as cut, copy, and paste. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.